Uh, about a year ago, I came up to these woods to photograph some bluebells and in the process I discovered what turned out to be quite rare white bluebells. Now, me being me, I didn't actually appreciate just how rare they were at the time and unfortunately I didn't manage back last year while the bluebells were still out. So today I've come back to the, to the woods to see if I can take a few more photographs of these very rare white bluebells. There is however one small problem, I can't remember exactly where they were. So uh, stick with me while I try and find them and if I find them we'll get some shots of some very rare white bluebells. We have another photographer in the woods. <laughs> the pressure's on. The sun's going behind a cloud just now, but when I first arrived, you can see it now, there was little shafts of light playing along the ground and if you position yourself just right you get separation between these two trees here and then this lovely moss coloured boulder and then that other tree there that's got moss over, uh, along the base. I really like that. Um, try to see if there's a better angle. Yeah this is even better I think. This angle here is slightly better because now, now you've got separation between these two trees and also separation between these two. I think it'll probably be a, a 16 by 9 crop, quite low on the trees, really emphasising the bluebells and that beautiful light. If I come slightly this way, there's a little patch of light hitting the bluebells there as well, so that's actually probably an even better angle. Yeah, I'm going to take that shot just now. Quite like this scene. Unfortunately, we've lost the light just now. But we have this this fallen branch here, which proves to be quite a nice leading line and leads you into those bluebells. You got more bluebells in the background there, and then these lovely little white flowers. Just a matter of waiting for the light to improve, I think. I'm going to... Oh yeah, it looks like the light's coming. If you see that in the background there, it's brightening up. Yeah, here we go. I like this shot. Again, using this branch as a kind of leading line, but I just noticed this tree here with these beautiful green leaves. 
kind of been picked out by the sun. So I've taken that image kind of with the foreground here on the leading line and there. I've taken two shots, one where I've focused on this foreground branch and another where I've focused on the, the tree, just in case I've got a focus stack. But that is lovely. Um, and we've got the light just spilling down on these bluebells now as well. Okay, I'm at one of the spots where I think the white bluebells were. Uh, I'm just going to have a wee look just now, but I'm not seeing any evidence of them yet. Right, uh, I was just in the middle of taking this shot here because I kind of like to gain the play of light and shadow and the kind of dappled light with all these um, bluebells and <laughs> the additional element of the, the fallen tree branch there as well kind of breaks up the pattern a little bit I kind of you know, like that shot but as I was taking it and when I was waiting for the light to come back out I turned around and look one single solitary white bluebell Unfortunately it looks the worst for wear, I don't know. I don't think this was the ones that I found last time. But if it was, there's only one now and there was quite a lot before. So I'm going to have a little look around here because... <laughs> you know, it's like, like memory is kind of coming back that it was actually in this area that I saw them last time. So I'm going to grab a shot of that one even though it's not looking great. And uh, then I'll start looking around because I get a feeling it was in this area right enough. Right, I've captured that for, for what it's worth. I don't know if you can see though. Uh, let me put on a video mode now. The, it's, it's quite windy, so the the white flower's moving quite a bit, and I'm struggling to get a sharp image of it. Quite like that shot. Again, you've got it's the patches of light and shadow that's catching my. Eye. Um, if you move over a little bit, you get a bit of separation between that young tree and the older one. And uh, yeah, I kind of like that. I'm going to take that shot just now. Yep, it looks like that is the only white bluebell. That's a shame because there was a few last year. Um, I'll keep looking. I found them. I just finished taking some photographs of those trees down there and I was making my way back up the path and just down there you've got two, three, four, five, six, um, six white bluebells. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. Well, that was lucky. Can't believe I found them again. Uh, so it would appear there are two separate distinct patches of white bluebells, one of which only had the one bluebell at the moment, but this one with I think six or seven. But uh, yeah, well, nice find. Lenny, I'm, I'm still shooting. 
which is the white blue bells at the moment. But uh, once I finish this, I'm going to move on and, and go down. There's a little, a little uh, kind of valley just behind the hill that I'm on, and uh, there's usually lots of blue bells in there. So I'm going to head there next. But uh, yeah, I'm glad I found them. So that's that. Um, quite chuffed I found them. I'm going to head round to the other side of the hill now, into that little glen, and uh, see what the bluebell situation is like there. I'm hoping the mic on this camera picks us up, but we've got at least one, possibly two, cuckoos on the hill opposite, and. Uh, Every now and again you hear them calling out. You've got these two trees forming an arch and when the light comes through it lights up those bluebells in the background. That's beautiful. So that's us for another video. Uh, can't believe we found the white bluebells again. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, uh, give us a little thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, please think about doing that. And uh, there'll be another video along in a few days. So see you soon. Cheers, bye.